All right, let's move on. Oh, I haven't answered your questions in a while, so let me answer some questions. Patients often fall asleep during the Mario fall asleep during the treatment. Have you seen any proclaiming better sleep after treatment to gauge your treatment efficiency efficacy? Um, yeah, it's a great question, Mario. Um, I would say you know probably the people that that will tell me, oh, I can never fall asleep during the day. Um, and then when they fall asleep during the acupuncture treatment, then that's a great sign. Katie Starr, you're welcome. Rebecca Calmer Bright, do you take pulse at each treatment or initial exam and re-exam? Great question. I only take the pulse. If we're doing, there's two, two answers, Rebecca. Uh, the first answer is if I'm only doing acupuncture and no herbs, then I will only feel their pulse at the initial exam and then one month later at the re-exam, okay? But if I'm doing herbs, I will feel their pulse once a week. The reason is I give them one week of herbs and then I feel their pulse to see the change. And based on what I feel the pulse, I change their herbs again, okay? I don't ever give this, the patient the same herbs week to week because their pulse always changes. It never stays the same, okay? Simon Bazzotti. How do you treat insomnia during menopause? Do you recommend bioidentical hormones? Great question. So um, insomnia during menopause is a hormonal thing, right? <clears throat> uh, so I treat the hormone balance. So if in menopause, depending on what caused the menopause, well, actually it really doesn't matter. What, let me ask y'all, you can type this in the chat. What organ takes over producing sex hormones when women go into menopause? It doesn't matter what causes a menopause, but there's an organ that steps up, steps up to produce the sex hormones. Kidney. Can y'all be a little more specific? Dong Fung and Simon? Uh, yeah, Noreen, you got it. Diana got it. Adrenals. So the adrenal glands are the only other organ in our bodies that can secrete sex hormones. So to answer your question, Simon, about insomnia during menopause, you have to get the adrenal glands to function better. So in TCM, what is that? That's the, kid, the, Chinese, medicine the, the Chinese medicine kidney. So yes, you were correct by saying kidney. So you get the adrenal glands to function better, and therefore you will, um, you'll help them to sleep. I do not recommend bio, uh, I cannot, uh, okay, let me see if I can phrase this correctly. Bioidentical hormones are medications, so I cannot tell the patient whether to do it or not to do it, okay? Um, with, if they ask me, um, like, oh, I know you can't tell me because you're not a physician, but what would you do? So I would say, if it was my wife, I would not and she, it depends. It, it, there's, it, there's no clear cut answer. If my wife still has all of her organs, then definitely I would never have her do bioidentical hormones. But if my wife did not have all of her organs, that might, and I've done all of the Chinese medicine, the acupuncture, the herbs, uh, supplements to help and just not helping, then I may recommend my wife to do that. That's a little uh, communication thing again. Sheila Kendro, how effective are these protocols if they are given once a week or twice a week or once a month in the initial phase? I don't practice three days a week. Will these protocols be helpful if they are given less frequent than three times a week? Sheila, uh, great question. Um, <clears throat> if it's for insomnia, they can still, it can still work because you can give them herbs. Okay, remember, I've treated insomnia with just herbs. So when I started off, they come in for the initial exam, I give them a week of herbs, and then I see them once a week. Okay, I see them once a week to fill their pulse and then change their herbs. And I still basically eliminate their insomnia. So for acupuncture, it's very difficult to do it um, just with acupuncture at once a week. But twice a week, it can work. And I'm talking about if you weren't 
doing any supplements. You weren't doing any herbs. You were doing straight acupuncture, which I have done. Straight acupuncture by itself. Acupuncture requires frequency. Okay. Now, is my role an absolute? Hell no. I know there's going to be acupuncturists saying, oh, I, I've done it before one, one time a week. Yeah, it's possible. I'm sharing my experience. I don't know your experience. Okay. But my protocol, if it's just acupuncture, so make sure I, I clarify this for you. If you're only doing acupuncture and doing nothing else, no other treatment, um, then you need that frequency. Okay. Now, if they, and it also depends on the, the cause, because if it's a, if it's a food sensitivity cause, you may not even need to do acupuncture, just help them with their diet and you'll fix the problem. Right. So you got to find the cause. Benjamin.